This is EMS Solutions, and this is going to be a training video on how to muscle test a home, and if we have time, we might even do a phone, a cell phone, but how to muscle test and show that the products either work or they don't work, okay? So before I get started, um, if you're a rep and you're watching this training video, if you, um, if you make the appointment all about muscle testing, about applied kinesiology, and the client's not into it, you may lose them just because you're talking about muscle testing and they're not into it. So anytime I, I see a sour face or somebody expresses that they don't believe in muscle testing or they're not interested in trying muscle testing, I don't push it. I rely on all of our science and all of our testing, our thermal image testing, our blood testing, and all the rest of it to say that this stuff works, let's get it done. So you don't have to do muscle testing. But when there's some interest on the muscle test, it can be a very effective tool to, to convince somebody to make them a believer or to have one more little icing on the cake there. So it's a great thing uh, for the right people. So here we go. Um, now before I get started, we're not going to teach muscle testing how to muscle test in this video. You can do it by um, the chiropractic way, which is usually pushing down on a straight arm or a straight leg. Um, you can do it the O-ring grip like Dr. Omura does and he patented in 2003 by pulling fingers apart. We're just going to, for simplicity's sake, we're going to do the arm test today. Um, and let me explain. Before I test a home, I explain to somebody, hey, if you do a muscle test and something's not good for you, it may show up as weak. You may be weaker in the muscle test. And if something's good for you, it'll probably show up stronger in a muscle test. That's about the extent of me explaining it, unless I show a new person that's never had it done the videos of Dr. Amira muscle testing with a white lab coat in a hospital um, to convince them that, hey, not only are chiropractors and acupuncturists and holistic practitioner types doing this, but medical doctors, especially around the globe, are actually doing this as an assessment tool, okay? So, before we get started, um, let's explain muscle testing and how it would work in a home like you would to a client. So if I have a client come around, and maybe Raquel, you can come in for, for the muscle testing, so if I'm explaining it to a client, I'm going to say EMFs, as you've probably watched in a previous video, EMFs, when they're polarizing in man-made EMFs, they're vibrating the surface of the counter and the wall and you. So there's subatomic chaos. There's literally subatomic vibration. Now, if we put two fingertips, which is what we use, firm pressure down on a wall or a countertop that's not remediated with products, and we have Wi-Fi and all the goodies in a house, you put your two fingertips down, it's vibrating, you might pick up on that as a weak muscle test. And if we fix it, if we calm the chaos down, and then we retest by putting two fingers on the same countertop in the same place, and it goes strong, that's kind of how we know our products are working, okay? So, today we're gonna uh, show you what I commonly, I commonly go to the kitchen in a person's home. Um, I find a nice outlet nearby, and a countertop where we can just kind of stand right near there and plug it in and unplug it, plug it in and unplug it. So, before we get started, um, EMFs are the number one reason, not the only reason, but the number one reason why somebody might not accurately be testable. Or a test, or a person who's muscle testing, the tester, might not be accurate to test other people. So to counterbalance that, try to remove the metal out of your pockets, if you have a, a bunch of metal in your pockets, big keys or, you know, whatever. And then, I always just put a patch on the person I'm testing in the house. I just say, hey, let's slip it. Let's slip it in your pocket, let's slip it, you know, wherever you can so that this side's facing them. Because that'll make, when you're testing a home or you're testing a phone away from you, that'll make the person most accurate to test. So if they're not accurate and they're on the bubble, this patch usually pushes them right over the edge and then boom, they're accurate to test. So she's already wearing a patch, I'm already wearing a patch, but normally I would put that on and that's something I would do. So, the first thing you do, the three steps are going to be, first, decide if the client is testable. So test them in the clear and, and have a method of finding your testable. Then we're going to test the home as is without the product plugged in. Then we'll pl pl plug the product in and test it again to see if there's a change. Okay? Great. You ready? Mm -hmm. So to see if I'm testable, um, you're going to just test my left arm for, for so you guys can see. We're going to test this counter. Normally I might test the counter close to here, have the client face the counter just to make it easier, um, but for the camera purposes, we're gonna kind of face this direction, we're gonna test this counter, which should also come on when our product's plugged in here. So, okay, so when you're ready. Okay, and hold strong. Okay. Good. Okay, go ahead and say 
Yes. Okay, yes. Good, and no? No. So you can see it obviously goes weak. Okay, so we have a little bit weaker on the no answer than a yes. You can also say, you know, my name's Corey, my name's Teresa, or something like that. And it should be weaker on the no answer, on the one that's incorrect, right? If so, you, what happens if you don't get that? If they're the same. If you don't get that, and I'm not teaching muscle testing on this video, if you don't get that and don't have another verifiable way to see if it's an accurate muscle test, then don't test the client in the house. Just don't do it. Um, okay, so I'm testable. So let's first we're going to test the house um, the way it is before we remediate anything. Okay. Okay. Ready and nice uh, strong hold. Okay. Good and two fingers. Okay. Good and nice strong hold. Okay. Okay. So again, you might have to remind them put firm two fingertips, firm pressure. Okay, you're going to get the best reading by firm pressure on the counter, and then if they go weak, you know that. 90-90% of uh, kitchens have appliances everywhere, it's going to test weak. So, now we'll uh, plug this in the wall. This does, on average, two to four rooms in a house, and we'll always probably test in the clear first, just okay. to reassess what normal is, okay? Okay, and strong hold. Okay. Good, nice and firm. Great, okay. two fingers. Two firm fingers, firm pressure. pressure. There. Okay. Perfect, and nice strong hold. Good, nice and strong, very tight. Okay, so there's no change, but what I like to do is go back and forth, back and forth. So I'll do this, let's do it one more time. So okay. two fingers firm pressure. Hold strong. Okay. Good, nice and strong. And then what we do is we take it out. Good, and nice strong hold. And we go weak. So right you can, I like to go back and forth a couple of times because then sometimes that first, that first, you know, with and without, they're like, I think so. And then you do it once or twice more and they're like, oh yeah, I really feel that. So anyway, that's how we do, that's how we test the house. And I'm going to go one more. Um, now, if you wanted to test a cell phone, I'm going to test the cell phone. Um, since we're wearing a patch, we can only we can't test the cell phone here because the patch is going to help, help you be stronger. You might still test strong with a cell phone here. An unprotected cell phone might test strong here if you're wearing a patch. So if you're going to test the cell phone by itself, you need to take the patch off of the person being tested. We're not going to do that. We're going to, we're going to test the cell phone away from you. Okay. So I really like to make it turn the phone on and get on a phone call when it's really strong. Uh, if you want to, if you really need to like, let's say compare products, let's say, they, Oh, I have this great gadget on the back of my phone and it works really well. If it were, if it works, which is a big question, if it works when the phone is not on a phone call like this and you can do this and you can do this and there's everything strong, make a phone call or get on live streaming video, either one. I so far have never, and no practitioner we're in contact with has ever seen anyone else's product work while on a phone call. Um, ours by far, by far, by far is the strongest product out there. And that's good for you guys to know. Um, gives you a lot of confidence. So same thing. So this would be a cell phone. We could, we could have it not fixed and fixed. We would do the same exact way as a counter. So you can test me in the clear. So okay. get a good strength. Okay. And hold strong. Okay. Good. Okay. Go. And then this is a fixed phone. This has our chip on the back. Mm -hmm. So I could do two fingers firm pressure away from me like this. Good. Hold strong. Okay. So there's no okay. change, right? Okay. And then what we could do is take the chip off and immediately test it again or have another cell phone sit next to it that's not protected that's receiving a phone call maybe and then you can just slide the phones over, retest and you'll see that everybody should go weak when they're using a cell phone unprotected. So that should be all the basics of how to test EMFs on a house and on a phone when that's away from you. Um, thanks.